carbs, at least carving. Um, you know, not overly happy with how I've got there, but it took a while, but they're not causing me a concern at the moment. I'm still not completely confident in this engine. Um, and before I throw more time into the rest of the bike, I want to check a bit more of its health. Two main things seem to be to do. Compression test. Make sure that all the cylinders are giving a similar compression and hopefully a high enough compression so that you get good combustion. That's one thing. Second is a leak down test, which is similar, but it gives you an idea of if there are leaks, if your compression is a bit down, whether you've got a leak in the inlet, the exhaust side, or the uh, piston rings. So for this one, not gonna be a very long one, but I'm gonna compression test it, I'm gonna leak down test it, but before that, I'm going to start it. Famous last words, but it should be running on all four. Now, it isn't running well, but I'm not surprised with the carbs as they are, but it is running and it seems to be running on all four. And if you're worried about the smoke, you might have seen my references to Coco. And I think that might be something to do with his paint choice. It's a fairly cheap compression tester, but they either work or they don't. Um, and we do know this one works. Basically, you're judging what pressure there is in each cylinder after it's turned over a few times. To do that, you have this tube, and this tube connects into here. And then you choose an adapter to suit the spark plug size for your cylinders. And I happen to know it's this one for this uh, CB750. So, I plug that into where the spark plug should go, turn the engine over, and the needle will go up in increments every time the engine turns over, till it reaches a maximum of peak value. You're hoping it's towards 150, perhaps even more sometimes, but anything really over 90 and the engine should run. As the engine's turning over, it holds the pressure in here, so when you go to do the next cylinder, you press that and it'll put it back to zero. It just releases the pressure. So once you've tested one cylinder, you write it down, you write down the next one, write down the next one, write down the next one. You can compare. There are a couple of other little tricks you can do, but I'll perhaps talk about them towards the end of the video. rubber o-ring so you don't need to kill it yeah don't put it too tight sometimes the adapter screws itself off instead of it coming out if you haven't done a compression test before do remember have the kill switch on because you don't want it starting on you there's some discussion about whether you should have the throttle fully open or not in my experience it doesn't seem to make much difference to the final pressures you get Probably about 130, so it's not too bad. Um, need to take this out, put the plug back in, and then on to number two. Huh, 
Number two, 130 again. Getting the third spark plug, uh, the adapter in, is a bit of a faff because you can't see it and you can't get at it and the horn's in the way as well so I'm going to just whip the horn off to give myself a bit more room. Another 130. Nearly all of them have been exactly the same, 130. I'm really pleased with that. I'm really thrilled with that actually. The wisdom is that they should be over 100 PSI and within 10% of each other on a healthy engine. Well, they're at 130 and they're all at the same pressure so that means I'm, I'm quite happy. If they were low or one of them was low you could have put a little bit of oil in through the spark plug hole, run the test again. If the pressure had gone up it would imply that the uh, piston rings were, a, were the issue rather than the valves. Um, as they were all okay didn't need to even think about doing that. I was going to do a leak down test. The leak down test is so you can identify where leaks are coming from. I'll be honest, I didn't expect that I'd get this consistency with the cylinders. Um, at that, I'm not going to bother with a leak down test now. It isn't. It doesn't seem necessary. Uh, I can now move on and look at the next part of the job. So, if you found this interesting, that's great. Why don't you subscribe? Next things I'm going to be up to I think is doing the front end and we've got other projects going on. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Mm -hmm.